Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, let's see here. So now let's go ahead. I want to talk about this drama with, uh, with all these honorary degrees that are going viral. So a lot of people are talking about this. So if you guys do not know, speaking of Real Housewives, Sheree uh, Whitfield, she recently went viral. Let me see if I have that here. For her honorary degree. So we're going to, um, where'd that go? Hold on. Okay, here we go. So a lot of people are talking about this as of late. And I've been talking about this for a while. I've been saying this for years. I don't like honorary degrees. I don't like what it stands for. And um, it's, it's not okay because you have people who are really going to school to get their doctorate. And it's not easy. They're dealing with student loan debt and everything else. And then a celebrity can just be given an honorary degree. So this is the first article we're going to look at. Um, most celebrity honorary degrees are a slap in the face to students. So recently, Sheree, this is a picture of her. She says here, she is Dr. Sheree Whitfield. I'm truly honored and grateful to receive my second honorary doctorate degree. The current honorary doctorate is from Harvest Christian Academy. I don't know where that's at. I want to thank God, my family, friends, supporters for always rooting for me in this journey called life. I never thought I would be saying Dr. Sheree Whitfield ever, but that goes to show you that the man above has a final say. If God is with you, who can be against you? And that was her on stage in her cap and gown. Okay. So then after that, if that wasn't crazy enough, then Pretty V got an honorary degree. And a lot of people were like really pissed off about this as well. So this is Pretty V. She's a comedian on um, Wild and Out. That's how I first was introduced to her. And so here she is. And she looks gorgeous. You know, they both did in her cap and gown. And so what kind of turned people off is that she also was demanding that people call her doctor. So let me go to her post here. So on her Instagram page, she says, from now on, address me as Dr. XL. Um, her last name is XL. And she says, I'm very honored and blessed to receive my first honorary doctoral in humanitarianism. Thank you, Jesus, mother, friends, mother, family, friends, for always supporting me through it all. This moment right here is all God. Thank you, Global International Alliance, for acknowledging my philanthropy ex uh, efforts. The Bible says, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich, address no sorrows. Today I honor God for every blessing he has bestowed upon my life. I pray he continues to guide me and lead me to a walk in obedience so I will eat the good so I will eat the good of the land. I thank him today for the fruits of the spirit showing up right in front of my eyes. Thank you all for always rooting for me. I love you. So, these were all the pictures. Like I said, she's a beautiful woman. But the shade room, along with myself, we weren't having it. And so I had wrote a message on the shade room because I think it was like a post like where Rick Ross came and he was like, oh, you know, uh, daddy loves it or something about daddy child because, you know, she used to date Rick Ross. And so I wrote on not only Sheree's post, but also on Pretty V's that I'm sorry, but honorary degrees are not a flex. They're not a flex to me because I have people in my family who are doctors and who went to school for years who are still paying back student loan debt. Um, you know, just all the nights of studying and stress and, you know, everything else. And I just think it's a slap in the face. Again, that's just me personally. Shout out to them for their philanthropy work and, you know, the things that they do to give back. That should be awarded. I think the problem is that they're calling these doctoral degrees. I think it's good if they want to give celebrities, you know, extra shine for, you know, good work that they're doing in the community. 
But I think to solve all of this drama, they need to name it something else. I don't think it's fair to call the, to call them doctors. I don't even like at this point calling Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre. At this point, he's just Dre to me, okay? So she's addressing the situation. So we're going to go ahead and watch what Pretty V has to say um, about all the backlash that she's receiving. Pick, Pick got y'all mad. mad. Yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on my last post and go find out. That lad pick, that lad pick, got a lot of y'all mad. But let me tell you something. God will choose the foolish things to shame the wise. So when God qualifies you, he qualifies you for higher. He qualifies you for higher. It's an acceleration season. It's your excel season. So don't let nobody tell you that you can't do or can't be a part of anything, okay? I'm not gonna come out here and talk about anything that I posted because it's in y'all face. Y'all deal with it, y'all keep it going. Just because somebody does skits and music and rap and this, don't you know God could use those people to make something out of them? You know, like God could do his thing on people and people don't understand that. People don't understand that God could change your life in about a second nowadays and he's been doing it for a long time. So at the end of the day, I don't have to prove anything any to anybody, but that last pick got y'all mad. I don't have to prove anything any to anybody, but I love you guys so, 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 so much. Just put some respect on this name and call me Dr. XL. Dr. XL. Dr. XL, y'all mad? Dr. Pretty TV, y'all mad about that? And it's okay. I love you guys so much and I don't have to prove anything. But yes, you guys, um, I'm telling you. God will qualify you. There's a position with your name on it. There's a home with your name on it. There's things with your name on it. And sometimes your family, your friends, your supporters don't understand your assignment and they don't understand where you're going. But when you pop out with certain things, they're like, how did this person get that? That's not real. That's not this. But all we got to say is, but God. So when you stand on that word, but God and God, that's it. That's all. There's no other explanation. I can't give y'all a list. I just let y'all know that it happened, it's there, it's solidified, it, it is what it is. Just because somebody make y'all laugh every day, jump on the table, jump off the table, do this, yell, don't mean that they're not qualified for the position. Don't take that away from them because y'all don't believe the devil is a liar. No, I earned it. I do the work inside and out. I do the work on and off. So it is what it is. But yes, you guys, um, I'm telling you, God will... Okay, so that was the post of um that Rick Ross had said. He said, Daddy's proud of you. But meanwhile, when his own child graduated from a real high school with a real high school diploma, Daddy wasn't there in the audience to cheer his son on. But that's a whole nother video. You know, my thing is this. I was trying to grab my tiny violin. I didn't know it was across the damn desk. Um, Why is she doing so much of explaining? If you're happy with your doctorate and, you know, you're a doctor now, why do you keep trying to explain and, you know, who are you trying to prove it to? Are you trying to prove it to yourself or to us? Because I'm never going to call you a doctor. I'm going to call you your name, Pretty V. You know, she's talking as if she really is a doctor, as if she really put in the work, <laughs> the, the know-how, you know what I mean? Like, she's talking as if she really went to school for four years and paid the money and, you know got into student loan debt to be called a doctor. That That's insane to me. Remember when I said a few weeks ago that while I'm flattered that people call me a journalist, while that's very flattering, like, T, you're, you're a journalist. I always have to correct people and say, no, I'm not a journalist. I have integrity. I'm a researcher. I love what I do, but I don't have the right to claim the title of journalist because I never went to school for journalism. There's people who went to school for four years to go get a journalism degree, to learn the ins and outs about the media business and everything else. That's not my case. So I don't have the right to bestow that title on myself. Even though a lot of people on social media do it, I'm not going to do that because that's a slap in the face for people who really went to journalism school. I don't need titles. I'm just T. I'm a YouTuber, influencer, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm not saying that she does something. I called her Dr. DeLulu. <laughs> Y'all are mad. 
Yes, they call her Dr. DeLulu. Like, she's really going off. Like, after a while, if she's talking, I'm like, well, damn, maybe she did enroll in college. Because she's, like, trying to talk with such conviction. When God blesses you with something, can't nobody take it from you. Ma'am, it's an honorary degree. What are you talking about? It doesn't make, like, she was sounding like she was so upset, like, as if people are saying, like, as if she went to, like, a four-year university, you know what I'm saying, to be a medical doctor, and people are saying, we're not going to call you a doctor because you're not a doctor, even though she went to medical school. That's not the case. People are saying, okay, fine, you got your, med your, your honorary degree. That's cute. But for you to try and say that we're supposed to now call you Dr. V, absolutely not. No. I'm not calling Pretty V Dr. V just like I'm not going to call Sheree Winfield Dr. Winfield. You will still be Sheree from the Real Housewives of Atlanta to me. You know what I'm saying? So I just, it's just very interesting. It like, do these doctorates then just make people, you know, just arrogant all of a sudden? So is that like a whole new persona that comes with a doctorate degree? Like, what the hell? Like, she's really like going off as if people are wrong for saying no. You know, congratulations. We're okay. You got the honorary degree, but no, we're not calling you doctor. She's offended that people don't want to call her a doctor. Well, if you're a doctor, then what about the actual pharmacist? Or what about the actual medical doctor? Or what about, you know, the actual person, you know, who went to school for a real doctorate degree and they're dealing with student loan debt and everything else? Like, how is that fair? You don't just to, you just don't get to cut in line. That's the thing I don't understand. Everybody just wants to cut in line nowadays. So I think, and like again, I'm not blaming her, right, per se, because they invited her to the school and they gave her the honorary degree. I think these schools need to stop handing out honorary degrees or give them a whole nother name. Call it an honorary certificate or a certificate of humanitarianism. Because when you're giving them a doctorate, a degree from the university, that means nothing outside of the university, but you're, you're, be you're bestowing titles on them. That doesn't make any sense. That degree is as valid as that degree from established titles. Remember that scam ass company? Oh, you can, you know, buy an established title. You can be a lord or a lady or a lass. And then people find out they don't own any plot of land in I or Scotland or Ireland, wherever it was at, and that they're not really lords or ladies. This is like the same thing. I think they need to change the name. I don't think there's anything wrong with giving a celebrity an award if they're doing something good. Obviously, she's done some humanitarian work. So I don't think there's anything wrong with awarding her. I think they need to change the name because the name is now giving folks, you know what I'm saying, a bit, the big hit. They're really thinking they're doctors out here. And that's disturbing. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I do hear that they donate to the school, but they're also giving it for like humanitarianism, philanthropy. You know, there's also different things. But somebody said, I see DC College. <laughs> I see DC College. Yeah, it, it just, I don't know. She was just going off. Somebody said, T, you are a journalist. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, I appreciate the compliment. I appreciate the child, appreciate my work. But for me, I would never just flat out call myself a journalist. You know what I'm saying? Because I never went to journalism school. So I don't want to take that from anybody who did. You know, because there's people right now who are in student loan debt, you know, trying to be journalists and start their own, you know, publication and magazine company and all types of stuff. I just showed up one day on YouTube like, hey, I'm a great researcher and a great editor. Let me go ahead and break this down. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I just, I felt like she was like explaining herself far too much. If you don't care, this is your blessing from God. Well, go enjoy your honorary degree. Why are you taking to the internet to, you know, be mad at people and to go off about the situation? Everybody's going to have their opinion one way or another. Hell, after I left my comment, folks was going off on me. Said I was me and I need to shut the fuck up, bitch. I said what I said in the shade room. You ain't got to read my comment. Keep fucking scrolling, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't agree with it. I, I think that's clown shit. I'm not about to call somebody a doctor who has an honorary degree. I'm not going to do it. I will call somebody a doctor who actually put in the work and had the sleepless nights. Okay? Those are the people who deserve to be called doctors. Like I said, at this point, Dr. Dre is Dre. Because I'm tired. This is why we have veneer technicians. Think about it. None of these people want to go to school and do the actual work that it takes to be a dentist. I was blown away when I went down that veneer rabbit hole. 
Because I'm just like, because like I said, the reason why I even started following that page is he was going viral. And, you know, Roly, she's on the bad, baddies, yeah, the baddie show. So I'm like, oh, okay, Roly got her teeth fixed. Okay, that's cute. And then as I'm like looking and I'm like, oh, okay, a black dentist. Oh, that's sweet. You know, he's a dentist. You know, I like to support, you know, positive, you know, black entrepreneurs who are doing their thing. You know, we need more black doctors and dentists. So that's why I followed. I thought this was a legit dentist doing dentistry work in Atlanta. Then we find out he's like hustling certification classes. And if you can do nails, you can do veneers. Well, if this man is a doctor, then what about Dr. Heavenly, who actually went to school to be a real life dentist? I'm not going to sit here and call somebody else a doctor who did not go through the, through the grunt work. That's not fair. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? So again, sh you know, kudos to her for her award and for the things that she does. I'll never take that away from Pretty V. But you, you can't demand for people to then call you a doctor. We're not going to do that. When you have real people who are going to medical school, who are going through real doctoral programs that are not easy. You know what I'm saying? Who are real psych psych psychologists, psychiatrists, you know what I'm saying? Who have to go and do the grunt work. And that's the problem. Everybody wants a title. You, you could just put tech behind anything now. A veneer technician. And they had me fooled. I thought these were real people at first. And then we find out it's all a scam. Everybody want to be a tech. Lash technicians. They're out here putting lashes on people's eyes with UV rays. What happened to just being called the lash lady? That's what I call my lash lady. I don't call her a technician. You're not doing medical work. What, what, what are you doing technical? You're not in IT. You're a lash lady. And you make damn good money from me. So, like, what's wrong with just having a regular name, a regular job? Aquatic engineer. You're a water boy. What do you mean aquatic engineer? You're not fixing pipes. That's a name for a plumber. <laughs> like, everybody loves these titles. Nail technician, you're the nail lady and it's okay. <laughs> Stop adding tech and engineer behind every little gig. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'm an aquatic engineer. <laughs> Sir, you're a water boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's the, one of my favorite movies, The Water Boy. <laughs> a burger technician. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, everybody wants some type of like high ranking name. And this is why a lot of these rappers have found themselves in bad situations. Remember, Lil Wayne was everything at, at Young Money Cash Money. He was the CEO, the CFO, the OOO, the OV ho. He was everything at Cash Money, only to find out he wasn't getting no money. Baby was getting all that money. How are you the CEO or the CFO or something and you don't even know how the money's working? So much so that the person who's running the company just scams the hell out of you and other artists. Because folks be so busy chasing titles. If you want a title, then you need to go and do the work. You got folks online pretending to be psychiatrists. They're doing whole diagnosis on TikTok. They're doing counseling. You got to go to school for this type of stuff. It's one thing to give advice, right? People, you know, we have Zoom meetings. People will ask for advice. I'll give, you know, advice just, you know, based on things I've been through in life or, you know, it's one thing to just give simple advice. But you got people like, yeah, you know, you might want to look at getting on, you know, Zoloft and what? You're not a doctor. Like, why are you even talking about medication with people on TikTok? They're giving whole advice as if they really went through some type of mental health school, you know, to, to be a mental health doctor. Yeah, they're called mental health technicians on TikTok. <laughs> mental health technicians on TikTok. They have courses and everything. Y'all got to be careful because some of these, it's, it's literally the blind leading the blind. Somebody says that Uber eats philanthropists. <laughs> Sometimes even the tarot girls. Yeah, it's it's funny. Like everybody wants a title and it's just it's just weird. Yeah, a mental health technician. And you can lay on their couch for, you know, half the price. So instead of going to like a real counselor, a real, you know, somebody who has a degree in their field and laying on their couch, 
and talking to them for $100 an hour, you can go to a mental health technician for like 20 bucks an hour. It's a fraction of the price. Why? Because they don't know what the hell they're saying. They're just saying a bunch of bullshit. So you got to watch out for that. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.